Hello YouTube. This is one of many interviews that I will be giving to one of my closest fans and also one of the most well-known small Roblox creators at one time. Ladies and gentlemen, Clownbread is here with us for a exclusive interview that will go onto my channel. So welcome Clownbread. Hope you're doing well. Howdy, I am Clownbread. Yes, he is Clownbread. And speaking of well-known small creators, you at one point had accumulated how many subscribers? Um, 11,000. So tell us how long that took for you to reach and what you used to reach that goal. Well, so I remember... I started my channel in September of 2019 and I reached 11K around March or like March, like early March or late April. I mean, late February. And so what did you do necessarily? Um, I pretty much got lucky off one video. And that video That's, being? Uh, that was my first video on the very popular sometimes annoying to play game piggy and do you say that filming that video was a good decision for you in the long run did you um yeah did you think that you would get this far uh no because i was like 13 at the time and this is when piggy was first starting to gain popularity correct yeah i'm Apparently positive it was the second video I ever made on Piggy at the time. Alright, so with that being said, if you would go back in time, what would you have done differently in that video? Actually have added editing because there wasn't really any editing. No, the, not really. There was no editing in the video. It was just 45 minutes of our gameplay. With no uh, commentary, just straight gameplay. Commentary, because I didn't, I wasn't even thinking about using my voice at the time. Were you necessarily wanted to keep it a secret? I wanted to do a voice reveal, but I just, uh, I think, I just, I think I just randomly started using my voice in the videos. So, I do you think you gained the confidence to do so? Okay, well, my next question that I wanted directed towards you was how you got started with content creation. So take us down memory lane and tell us how long you've been doing this and what you first did. Well, I wanted to do content creation for like a long ass time, like since 2015 always wanted to be a youtuber and i had a channel in like back in 2015 but i had to delete it because i used my dad's email and he didn't like that so i had to delete the channel <laughs> but yeah and i think in 2019 i actually had a channel that was not it was doing for the time not the one i have now or the one i had but like it was a small channel it was doing a little bit decent but I still didn't really like how it, was, how it was doing, so I deleted that channel. And then what else happened? Alright. Well, uh, and then after that, I created the Clownbird channel in September. And I don't remember when I uploaded the video. But the first video I uploaded wasn't even Roblox. It was uh, this one game on PS4. It was PS4, PS4 exclusive called Until Dawn. So... And with the newest direction that you're going on, you said in a video that you wanted, and also in person, that you wanted to be, uh, quote-unquote, more like yourself, which included uh, a lot of, I guess, unfiltered side of you that not many of your fans were able to see. 
you think if you did it before, then you would maybe have more of a following? Uh, yes and no. The whole reason I was family friendly to begin with was not was specifically because I wanted more people to be able to watch my channel because you know, I, you know, obviously if I swear, then not everyone's gonna like that. So that's why I was more or less family friendly. But then I kind of just had like a kind of just had a realization that it's not really like what, what I want to do because I'm just kind of just being like I'm more or less being a character when I wasn't family friendly. And that's not what I want to do at all. I wanted to be myself. So you pictured it as a facade. Yes. And that obviously wasn't good for your mental health, I would assume. Now when it comes to YouTube, I'm like doing way better. Like way happier we're doing YouTube. And I feel like my videos are more entertaining now. I think so as well. Now if you Oh, I got what is it? Yes. <laughs> now, if you weren't doing YouTube, what would you be doing? That's the crazy part. I don't actually know what I'd be doing if I didn't do YouTube. I'd probably just play games regularly, but like in the long term, I don't actually know what I would do. Perhaps you might focus more on your Twitch channel, which he made um, after... He saw me doing very well on the platform. Hey, what? Hey, man, wait. <laughs> no, I mean, yes, you are doing well, and I'm proud of you, but no. Oh. So, all right, so how did you? How did the idea of starting a Twitch channel come about? I'm not, I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, there is games I wanted to, like, as of recently, Roblox has been getting really dry, so I wanted to record other stuff than Roblox, but... I want to I want to record stuff in Roblox, but I couldn't because I didn't have a graphics card. Still don't have a graphics card. So then I one day had a realization because of a YouTube video I watched was I I could just stream on Twitch and then download the recording and then edit it on my PC. So that I could just stream without having to get a graphics card or any of that bullshit. And I could just stream with my mic, good gameplay. The audio can be delayed a little bit, but I think I fixed it to the best of my ability, so it's not as delayed, but, uh, mm -hmm. no. But yeah, that's the main reason I started a Twitch channel, just so I could record games other than Roblox, but now I kind of stream. Not really, though. I'm not, a I'm not, a, like, a professional streamer like you. I'm just kind of just doing. And so, with that being said, do you ever think that there's going to be a regular... A regular schedule for not just your twitch channel but also your youtube and any other social media um i don't think i'm gonna do a schedule i tried but the issue is um sometimes i don't want to i want people to be like unnecessarily pissed if i miss that schedule and like hey why didn't you upload why didn't you upload i'm gonna find where you live why didn't you upload but <laughs> but seriously i don't want to do a schedule because I don't want people to be upset if I miss that date. And also, sometimes, if I have a schedule, sometimes how it would work is I just wouldn't upload on one day. Then the video I uploaded the day previously would get views, and then I would upload a video after one day of no video. But I didn't like that because there would be times where I'd want to upload a video, but I couldn't because, you know, because I had a schedule. So I'm not going to have a schedule for Twitch, maybe. Twitch is pretty much the same as YouTube. I just stream whenever I want. As long as I don't stream, you know. And so, the next question I want to ask, it's a more broad, more general question that most uh, creators get asked. Who do you look up to in terms of content creation of any sort? Uh, I got a very easy answer. This one YouTuber, I think I, I don't know, uh, it's not Flamingo, but no, he, no, hold up, Flamingo is one of my idols, but he's not, he is kind of an inspiration to me, but not like, my biggest inspiration, what I'm trying to say is this YouTuber called Craig's Kenshin, um, he's this, um, YouTuber, he's really cool, he kind of inspired some, a lot of my commentary and my editing style to an extent, because I really like his content, I really like his personality, pretty sure he's retiring though, but, uh, 
Yeah, he's one of my biggest inspirations when it comes to YouTube. Yeah, like I said, my other inspiration is Flamingo. Kind of like my, kind of like my humor. Kind of like my inspiration to do YouTube because like, Flamingo restarted his channel as well, and now he has he's about to hit like ten million subs, I think. So he's kind of my over general inspiration when it comes to YouTube. Corey Extension and Flamingo. And I guess my last inspiration is the creator of Piggy as well, Minitune. Um, just to be kind of generous and not be an asshole. I don't want to be like a che as cheesy as Minitune, but I want I don't want I just don't want to be like a straight up dick. That's pretty much all. Hmm, I see. And they say to never meet your idols, but would you ever want to meet any one of them? Yes, I, w I want to meet all of them. To be honest. But I uh, specifically would like to meet, I guess, Corey. I know my mom actually went to, like, Michigan or Detroit where he lives. But, uh, yeah. yeah I, I, get, uh, I guess I would, I would like to meet them. Yeah. And so, going forward, where do you picture yourself? Like, how, like, in, like, in, like what time? Possibly within the next two years. Well, I hope in the next two years I could at least get to half of 100k, so like 50k. I, I do hope for more, but I mean, I mean, a lot can happen in the two years, but like, it all depends, you know? I just, uh, I just need to get a pair of headphones, because if I had a pair of headphones, then I would be... And like decking it out this summer, dude. Like I would be working hard to get lots of videos out this summer on Xbox if I had a pair of headphones right now. But I don't, so I can't record. That sucks. But yeah, um I see myself at least being in the YouTube partner program again by then. And hopefully at least having a lot of subs. I wanna at least get to a point where I can get a play button. I, I know that's like a hundred K. That's pretty much where I see myself, at least having 50k. Well, I imagine that you would do such wonders if you were happen to get a YouTube play button. And also, it would let people know how much clown bread works hard. And let me tell you guys, I have known this guy personally even before all the uh, fans and all the publicity that this guy has gotten. And he is he is a very hard working person if he puts his mind to it. So yes, I can imagine Sir Clownbread reaching over a hundred K subs and by the way, speaking of a hundred K, what else do you think you're gonna do once you reach that milestone? Um hopefully open a merch store. Know, maybe get some merch out there. I would definitely have to consult with somebody on designs because I have no idea what designs I do if I had a merch store. But I do want to get a merch store. And probably, I would probably do, if I had a lot of money by then, I'd probably do a lot of like charity and donation path by then. That's what I see. Yeah, if I had 100k, I'd definitely do some cool stuff. Get a merch store. More cool stuff, maybe finally do like an event <laughs> i could do clown bird con it, 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 it'll be so much better than tanner con guys <laughs> speaking of merch didn't you in uh roblox have your own merch oh uh, yeah i do have some merch on my roblox group promo oh sponsored be sure to go ahead and pick up some clown bread merch on the roblox website if you do have the chance I I sure might even buy some Robux just so that I could buy it. Go? For real, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so appreciate it. Yeah. So do you feel like there's any other competition with you in terms of the Roblox realm? Um I know, I wouldn't say so, because, like, I'm friends with a lot of other Roblox YouTubers, and, like, there's moments where, like, 
like, I would always get kind of, like, sad when they would pass me in subscribers. But now all my friends have passed me in subscribers since I already started my channel, so now I'm not mad anymore. I've just accepted the fate, but uh, I wouldn't actually say I have any competition because I'm pretty small. I have 80 subscribers. Um, to see, since it's July, I want to see if I can hit 100 before July ends. So, I mean, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, subscribe if you want. Also, Be sure like to. Video. Yes, that is the most important. So, knowing that you now have 88 subscribers, could you maybe give us a glimpse of why you did decide to wipe out your channel? Okay, so I get this, because a lot of my friends will berate me being like, bro, that video had 2 million views, why did you delete it? You're such an idiot. And I'm like, bro, I'm literally going to lick your... <laughs> uh, but pretty much to explain why is my channel had a bunch of dead subs. So pretty much I had like 11k subs, but my videos were getting like 100 views. Because all the people that subscribed to my channel subscribed because of that one piggy video. And they were they were only watching that one video. So I didn't want to have dead subs because like, like, how am I supposed to just... Because it doesn't feel good, right? I have 11k subscribers, yeah. But subscribers don't matter, literally. In the grand scheme of YouTube, subscribers don't really matter. It matters if people are actually clicking and watching your videos. So yeah, I had 11k, I had 11K sure, that's cool. But if no one's watching my videos, then how am I going to feel like I want to continue YouTube? That's why I restarted, because I wanted to have a clean slate, right? I wanted to be able to replay a bunch of games that I missed and had even better, because, like... My piggy series on my original, like, channel was very, like, horrible. Because, like, some of the videos were on mobile or on Xbox because my situation was always changing. Sometimes I'd run out of Xbox, like, gold so I couldn't play on Xbox. And sometimes my mouse would break so I couldn't play on PC. So then I had to play a lot of the chapters on phone with no mic. And it was overall just a mess. So not only did I want to uh, restart my uh, channel... I just wanted to restart pretty much a lot of the series I've done. So pretty much, the, too long didn't read, because I know I ramble a lot when talking. But uh, I restarted my channel because I had a bunch of dead subscribers, and I didn't want that. And I actually wanted people who are subscribed to my channel to be watching my videos. So, yeah, that, that's why. Now, another question that I have is, and this is not to be rude, but does your specific channel demographic ever necessarily bother you like the age group would you rather have people more of your age or are you fine with whoever watches your channel i mean i'm i'm fine with whoever watches my channel i think my age demographic now is like 13 to 17 which is kind of what i want because it's kind of be weird for me for like adults to be watching a 14 year old so i'm i'm think i'm happy with my age demographic but my channel's for everyone. If your parents are fine with you watching swearing channels mm. at like at fucking twelve, but no, uh, yeah, my, I'm fine with my age demographic. I don't think my channel anyone can watch it if they want to. That's why I'm trying to like. That's kind of why I'm trying to like though like step away from Roblox because Roblox has the kind of like you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, repet. Well, what's the word? Repetate. Uh, I can't speak. Uh, you know that one R word that's like kind of means like somebody's like, like how they're known as in the world, their their repu the reputation. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Yeah, the, like Roblox has the reputation of a kid's game, so that's why a lot of people, if you see if they see you're uploading Roblox, they're just gonna be like, oh, this dude's just a kid channel. I'm not gonna watch him. But I don't want people to think that because um, it's not just a kid channel. All right. I'm trying to upload more than Roblox, but there's a lot of Roblox games I still want to re record. So, yeah, but I, I, I'm proud of my age demographic. Do the labels get under your skin? The labels, yes, man. I want to burn the labels. I want to sue the labels. I want to kill the labels. Um, Further, when it comes to Roblox, it is it does get annoying when people just write Roblox off as a kid's game. Because it's... It's not just the kids' game now. Like I, I'm telling you, there's a there's a, like generally a bunch of scary games that like 
Like, there's a bunch of, like, showcases on Roblox that don't even look like it's a Roblox game. So, yeah, like, a lot of people who just write Roblox off as a kid's game haven't played it before. Or just played it when it was a kid's game and don't play it now. But, yeah, the labels can be annoying. Which is why I'm trying to step away from Roblox and play other games. So, yeah. Do you ever think you're gonna quit? Quit YouTube? Uh... No. Unless if I'm, like... 80 years old. I don't know. I don't know a good time to quit YouTube. Do YouTubers quit YouTube? Well, no, that's a stupid question. I don't know if there's, like, a specific age when someone's like, yeah, you should quit YouTube. Because, like, there's old YouTubers, like... So, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna quit. What but, about... Like, yeah, I don't know. What yeah. about... What about Roblox? Do you think you're ever just gonna drop Roblox and make other content, like you said before? Uh Honestly, I'm going to be honest, the way Roblox is going, that's definitely a possibility, because Roblox, like I said earlier, has become very stale and dry. It's just not the same experience it used to be back in, like, 2017 and 16 and 15, so, yeah, it's not the same. So, I mean, I could definitely see myself just quitting Roblox as a whole, just going and moving on to, like, other Roblox games, because, like I said, it's not the same anymore. I think a lot of people play Roblox and agree that Roblox doesn't, it just doesn't hit the same anymore, bro. And that's a very oh. unfortunate realization, considering how much views Roblox has gotten over the past few years. Now, yeah. with with or without Roblox, are there any specific collaborations that are in your field that you feel like would make your channel grow more, or just a collab just to, you know, have fun with? Like, who would you collab with in your field? Well, uh, since we were talking about idols earlier, I think it'd be cool to collab with one of my idols. Because, like, it'd be like, yo, we, I, if you went from my idol to my brick. <laughs> and the thing is, though, like, all my idols are, like, not, like, over 18. And, like, I'm not over 18, so I guess it'd be weird. But, like, it'd be cool to make a collaboration. But I more specifically want to make more collaboration. A lot of my videos, like, a lot of my videos are just by myself. I don't think, I think videos by yourself aren't as fun as, like, videos with friends. I think you can agree. Like, when you're playing by yourself, you know, it's just, like, it's not as fun. But, like, when you're playing with other people, it makes the experience better. Yeah, I definitely don't want to really do that collaborate. I don't want to really do collaborations that's out of, oh, I'm going to get so much cloud off this. I just want to do collaborations with people. I think I definitely want to do more collabs with friends. Now, what about the possibility of maybe even a collaborative channel? Collaborative channel? Like a channel where I only make collabs? A channel in which you were partnered up with somebody else and make videos together. Could that be a possibility? Because you sort of, in my opinion, hinted on the fact that you prefer making videos with other people in them, so. Is there I mean, a chance? If my, if my friends want to make a channel where it's just, like, us, then I would be down. Like, like say if, like, me, you, and Quinn wants to make a channel where we just played games. Like, I would be so down for that. Um, I don't think it would be frequent uploads, because I obviously got to do my channel as well, but, like, if someone, if one of my friends went up to me and was like, hey, do you want to make a channel together? And I'd be down. So yes, I'd be down to do a collaborative channel. Well, guys, you heard what he said. He's uh, he's free to make a channel with someone. So, if you're my friend, that is. <laughs> if you are his friend, and also if you have, if you are also in the same boat as he is. But considering, you know, how much publicity he's gotten over the past couple months and given the fact that he's reached such a very impressive milestone it's probably safe to say that he collabs with people more of around the thousands march and would that be right or what is there any limit to who you would collaborate honestly i don't think sub count matters if we're good friends then I have no problem collaborating with you. 
Uh, most of people that like that are listed in my channels, yeah, they're in the thousands. There's some that are still like in the hundreds, you know. But like, I have a quite few friends. I have one friend who's about to hit a hundred k, which I know sounds crazy, but uh, I mean, yeah. But yeah, I don't really care your sub count. If uh, if we're friends, then I'm down to make collabs. You hear that right from the man himself. And now, I want to get into maybe one last question and that question is who really is clown bread like the man like me yes who well, is clown bread well he he is a kid he is a kid that's right um but to be honest uh hi i'm dylan I've said my name. Quinn has said my name a bunch of times in videos. So I'm not going to do like a name reveal. Hi, my name is Dylan, if you didn't know. Uh, I'm 14. I want to do YouTube full time, but I'm 14. So uh, I do plan to, like, like I said, I do plan to do YouTube full time and be like, you know, an, an epic YouTuber if YouTube still exists in four years, which I'm hoping it will. <laughs> A lot of people will joke around and say that YouTube will go down, but I don't understand why YouTube would, like, just stop one day, you know? But, I mean... But, uh, yeah, I, uh... To be honest, I... I that's me. I'm Dylan. I, lo I want to have fun. I want to make a bunch more videos with friends, and I want to... Just... Uh... I think one last thing I need to say... Because, um... Uh, I won't lie, when, sometimes when I'm messing around with friends, I can get pretty crazy, and I might say some things that, when I'm looking back, I was like, maybe I shouldn't have said that. But I just want to say, any, like, jokes or anything I say is just me messing around. I don't actually, like, because I think Dan, Dan can attest to this, I can get pretty, 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 uh, crazy, pretty sussy, pretty sussy, man. I can get pretty sussy, man. So, yeah, just want to say, like, when I'm messing around or saying something, I don't mean it. All right, I include that in my channel description. All jokes are just made for entertainment purposes. And whenever I joke on something, I'm just trying to make people laugh. I don't actually, you know, like, I say something offensive, like, uh, I voted for Kanye West. I'm not, I didn't actually vote because I can't vote. I'm just joking around, just trying to make people laugh. And if you get offended at it, I can't really do anything about that. I mean, it's your choice if you want to get offended on what people say, but yeah, I don't mean anything. I'm just dumb. So I just ran over a child. Wait, oh, shoot. See, that's what I mean. I swear, guys, I didn't actually run over a child. But uh, yeah, just don't take don't take anything people say on the Internet seriously. Otherwise, you're not going to enjoy the Internet. Um, I think that's all I have to say. And that is a strong word of advice to go out for well thank you so much clown bread for your time and if you guys want to be notified whenever he uploads or goes live on twitch all links of his will be in the, the description as well as mine and once again this is also going to be a continuation over the past couple of however long this goes for but um, yeah yeah. This is I mean, I think we plan to do one in a year, maybe. If I if I if I'm not dead by then, like dead in real life, then we'll do one in a year. Yeah, we will see how far this amazing creator has gone. And I picture very bright things in his future. So thank you guys for watching or even listening to this interview. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on Twitch where is where I am full time we're about to hit 700 follows which is marvelous and also be sure to check out clown bread's channels in the description below and we will see you guys next time once again thank you for watching and i will see you next time